some different guys cover the tight end, had some different guys play down near the box. Um, you know, Roderick has now started to play some of the big nickel stuff. So, you know, I think it's great for them. I think it's great for our team. Everybody uh, kind of comes in, has a part in the game plan, understands what they're being asked to do, learns it, practices it that way, and then goes out there and tries to perform. And then obviously we have some injuries. We've got to do some different things. But um, Isaiah, you know, is now starting to play. So um, I'm just – I'm excited for the young group that we have, you know, to keep continuing to play and get better. I mean, that's how they do it. You know what I mean? You don't – it's hard to get better, you know, without any kind of experience, you know. So – uh, they're practicing, they're earning the opportunity to play in the game, and then hopefully, you know, they go out there and they do the most that they can with the reps that they get. And I thought Tyler did that. Isaiah's done some of those things. Roderick, um, you know, definitely has shown up. You know, Sam's played on and off all year. So um, just trying to, you know, look, that's not an easy position to play. As you guys know, you run around covering these guys all day long and, you know, got some good receivers and another group this week. Uh, so. Um, it's helpful if you have an, enough healthy, healthy bodies to go out there and, and kind of rotate them in there a little bit to keep some of them fresh. <clears throat> DK Metcalf uh, is, is different, not only because of his speed, but because of his size. What challenges are you seeing that, that he's going to bring on Sunday? Yeah, um, there, there's a lot of them. Um, you know, I mean, he catches the ball when you're on him. You know, and so he, I think he's like the top of the league in terms of being able to uh, – contested catches – so even if you have tight coverage, it doesn't really mean that you've stopped the ball from being thrown to him for sure, and it doesn't mean that you've stopped the ball from being completed. So that's one. Uh, two, uh, getting him on the ground once he has the ball is an entirely different conversation. Um, this, is, this is as good of an athlete um, and as tough of a football player to get to the ground as, as, you know, as you're going to see generally. Um, there might be a couple other guys in that category, but, I mean, he's – He's big, he's fast, he's strong, uh, he's tough, he's physical. So getting him to the ground once he has it is, you know, is going to be a, a task and we're going to need, you know, as many guys to the ball, chasing the ball as we can. Um, you know, and then just I'd say his overall ability to, to, to really run, you know, and get by everybody. Um, you got to be careful you don't underestimate, you know, even if you're back there, I mean, he can, he can close ground in a hurry. Uh, one of the fastest guys in the league, no question. And so, um, you know, knowing where he's at, knowing how to play him, um, and, and understanding that he's going to have the ball at some point. You know, it's not like we're going to stop the ball from being given to him or thrown to him. So um, everybody's got to do a good job of playing the play all the way to its entirety and, and trying to try to limit the production as much as we can. When you were putting this together, I'm sure you had a kind of a vision of what it would look like with Foster and Darren playing in conjunction with one another. Yep. How does Foster's role change when Darren's not in there? And then when Darren does come back, how does it change back? Um, I, you know, I, I think we'll, we'll have to wait and see about the role when it, you know, if that happens, uh, when it happens. And, um, but Foster's, um, you know, Foster's really uh, kind of a traditional tight end type. You know what I mean? And um, those guys are not easy to find. Um, you know, you watch college football and there's a lot of guys that catch passes and, you know, all that kind of stuff, which is great. You know, um, there's very few people that are part of the core of the formation anymore. And uh, Foster certainly can do both. Um, you know, plays inside the formation, helps us in the running game. We asked him to pass block. I mean, he's pass protected on the game winner last week. Um, you know, we, he does that, an, you know, quite a bit, I'd say, you know, off and on throughout the course of the game. Um, and then he's also been productive when he's had his opportunities in the passing game. So um, a little different. You don't extend him from the formation, you know, like some other guys do, and that's okay. Um, you know, like I said, he's more of a traditional tight end role, um, but he has a lot of things he can do, and he can and he does them. He does them pretty well at a high level, and can help us win doing them. So um, you know, when the two of them have played together, and it hasn't been that many snaps, but you know, if we could ever get to that. Um, you know, there's a lot of things you can consider doing, um, but I think we really need to get them both back healthy and then start to, I'd say, crawl before we walk and walk before we run. Um, but, you know, we've, we've liked to have that opportunity in the past where we've had two guys that are a little bit interchangeable, but not the same. Um, but we're going to need to get out there on the field and do it before we do that. <clears throat> there's a couple guys that you've had on the injury report this week, uh, Luke Masterson and Colton Miller, they've been limited. Are, are those guys to where you have to have them go full before they could play, or could they be right No, I think we're 
No, I mean we're. I mean honestly, we're probably about as healthy as I could imagine at this point in time during the season. Knock on wood, um, and you know to come off of a few physical games here, um, I feel fortunate that we're in the position that we're in. Um, both guys, I think, are are trending the right direction here, and hopeful that we'll we'll be able to turn the corner here. One of the guys that's uh, kind of struggled with injuries, probably a frustrating year for Denzel Perryman, but he was back out there last week. It seemed like he had a really good game. In, in what ways is this defense different when uh, he's able to be out there for Yeah, him? he's just, I mean, you notice him right away, right, as you mentioned. Um, physical, uh, fast, um, you know, adds an element of just, you know, he's, he's, he's got experience. He understands what he sees, uh, gets to the ball quickly, uh, big hitter. Um, no doubt about it, and I think he just has a presence and a confidence to him, and I think he's a you know his vote as a captain for a reason. You know the guys respond to him, his leadership, his personality, his energy. Um, you know, and he brings a an element of toughness that you you love in your in the middle of your defense. So um, yeah, Denzel, you know, to his credit, has fought back from a couple things here that's nagged him a little bit during the course of the season, but healthy now and uh, excited that he's going to be out there. It was all good. Good to go? All right. You guys you guys are still sleeping.